You're in the queue when you remember you need something for Daniel. How about a million euro? But what if he takes up heli skiing for the crack? Who will be your new left corner back? A millionaire raffle ticket is the perfect gift this Christmas with one guaranteed millionaire and 5,055 cash prizes. Perhaps it should be one for Daniel and one for you. Get your tickets before they're gone. Play responsibly in store or at lottery.ie. Up slips, he lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and he laces radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Robinson. Yeah. K Webb. We got the messenger. School. God Squad. What up, Great? Yeah. Hey, check this out. Yeah. Hey, I got favor. I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God Squad. Yes, I got favor. God Squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, sir. Hey, I got favor. Yes, sir. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Go get a hater. Who squad? Cause I got favor. God squad. Hey, I got favor. Live the life of sin. I thank God that I'm alive. I got faith. Guns drawn at me at 16. I didn't hey, I die. I got faith. People thought I'd be in jail cause I used to steal. But I never been to jail, I'ma keep it real yes, Lord. Jesus turned my life around and he let me, know. let me know If you keep sinning, man, in hell is where you finna go, go. Then he gave me a wife and a family get, 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 get. Tons of blessings, now I'm stunting on the enemy Son. I live for Christ, I ain't perfect, I ain't hurting Tell the devil I'm with Jesus, cause I know me out here searching Man, I'm working on the beat For the Lord, you know I'm wildin' And as long as Jesus with me, I'ma always keep on smiling. Hey, I got favor, I got favor Yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor Hey, I got favor, God squad Yes, I got favor, God squad Hey, I got favor, yes, hey, I got favor, God yes, hey, I got favor. 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 yes Get a hater, get a hater. Cause I got favor, Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad. Yes, I got favor, God squad. Go get a hater, who squad? Cause I got favor, God squad. Hey, I got favor. Fall through the storm. Search for my spirit, y'all. Pushed by the wrongs, persuaded by material. Sunday it was church, Monday back to thugging. Tuesday on the block, Wednesday I was lusting. Thursday chased girls, Friday played how. Thirty I was sipping, your boy was wildin' out. He's bringing out the best now, I'm poking out my chest now. Something about his name, no lie, feeling fresh now. These spiritual weights got me strong in the word, I'm drunk in the gospel, the reason I swerve, my picture was blurry, so my father repainted, my soul was dirty, tossed it up, it reclaimed me, hey, I got favor, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad, hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. hey, I got favor, yes, Lord. forget a hater, forget a hater, cause I got favor, cause I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God, what? Yes, I got favor. God, what? Yeah. Oh, get a hater. Yeah. Ooh, You ain't gotta put no logic to it. You ain't gotta put no science to it or no bastard to it. In the natural, when the spirit moving, I love my God. Got me walking straight with my head high, and I ain't never been no sun guy. Got two kids and a blessed wife. God cooks his favorite punch, and I'm all in. Got room, wanna serve a bunch. Don't walk off, filled up. Never knew it was there. Now you stand up with your hands up. That's when that hand touch and the glory of God drop in about the flood up. Everybody put a praise up, cause I'ma do it within. You got a heartbeat, stand up. Love. This world can't tame us when we know the deal. You stressing, sitting, guessing if the love is real. My favor ain't determined by my shining will. God is all.
all I know, I know what it's doing. Hey, I got favor. I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, sir. Hey, I got favor. Yes, sir. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God squad. Yes, I got favor. God squad. Forget a hater. Amen, 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 amen. Welcome, 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 and thank you for tuning in. I am your host, Janelle Lynn, and amen, 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 amen. Welcome, 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 and thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk on Elation Radio. I am your host, and so thanks to the lovely Miss Kimmy Kim. And Jerry Roy at Positive Power 21.org. I hear an echo. I hear an echo. Okay, our topic for today is for the men. Okay, so we have. Can you guys hear it? Uh, can you guys hear it? Okay, so we have. Joining our discussion for the men, uh, we have Prophet Jermaine Green. Let's give a hand to Prophet Jermaine Green. Joining our topic on Tonight, Prophet, are you there? Yeah. Okay, I'm hearing an echo. Are you there? You are. Yes, ma'am, I am. Can you hear me? All right. Praise God. I am so glad that you were able to join us. Uh, right here on Facebook. Yes, yes, ma'am. I, I, I hear an echo. I think the, the I'm so glad that you're able to join us on tonight. Uh, we are also uh, live. Okay. Uh, that would be great. I'm going to make sure I turn my phone down. Okay. Hello? Yes, Robert, I'm here. Are you there? I am. Okay, so I am. Uh, I'm so excited. And I'm blessed um, that you are able to join us on tonight, uh, Prophet. I thank you so much. Um, and I will have everyone to know, uh, even uh, every listener and everyone that has joined live on Facebook, that uh, this is definitely a true man of God. And during this discussion, if you all uh, live on Facebook, if you have any questions. Um, any comments, um, anything that you would like to uh, say or ask uh, Prophet Jermaine, just comment, and I will definitely uh, let him know. Um, So my question, um, to get the ball rolling, uh, Prophet, um, there are definitely uh, things that uh, men go through that um, are trying and no, and not, even though I'm not a man, you know, from what I observe, I know that we're all human, um, and we can we have ways of of, of bearing things and trying to uh, stay strong, and you know, uh, str- trying to you know uh, put on that uh, strong face even for God and even for people who depend on us. And so I know that uh, men. Uh, go through things and and carry the weight of the world, you know, on their shoulders. And uh, a lot of men suffer in silence. A lot of men uh, are are very strong and silent, you know, um, and they just tend to just uh, bear it, you know. And a lot of people uh, don't understand, a lot of women don't understand men and the things that you all go through. 
Um, is there anything that um, you can help explain um, what men can go through that we as women do not know or anyone else may not know? Yes, ma'am. Well, first first of all, uh, it's hard being a man now, uh, especially because it seems that the world is taking a turn for the worse. And what I mean by that is men are labeled uh, either, you know, not good fathers or mm-hmm. lazy or mama's boy. Yeah. So we have a lot of uh, uh, identity crisis right now with men. And so it's very difficult now to actually, you know, be the man that, you know, number one, the Lord wants, and then also, um, you know, what our significant other wants. Uh, we have a lot of fathers that are uh, not in place, and um, you know I'm not I'm not here to like you know cut anybody down, turn anybody down. But we have a lot of single family homes, and yes. uh, one one thing I, I would say uh, it starts there. Um, we we have gotten away from a solid foundation that I believe the Lord wanted us to have in the beginning, as far as woman and man being together and holy matrimony. And so we yes. have gotten away from that, and uh, we're starting to see, you know, the results of, you know, young young, young men trying to become men. And uh, yeah. one of the major reasons is there's no example, uh, you know, in the home growing up. So it's kind of hard to, to reach for that. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. I totally, totally agree. I do uh, agree with, you know, it begins in the home. Um, you learn who you are in the home. You, you uh, understand your character. You know, character is built. Your personality is even built, you know, in the home. And for uh, a young man growing up in a home where the father is absent, um, you don't have that. It's hard for a young man to know what it takes to be a man. It, it's hard to it's hard for a young man who doesn't have even a father figure uh, in his life to know what it takes to be a good father. You know, they don't even have you know to not have that guidance, to not have a uh, uh, proper direction, to not have that that solid structure, that solid foundation um, in the home is. Hard to be a man. It's hard to grow up to be a man of valor, a man of integrity, a, a, a man of, of fortitude, and a man of, of excellence. You know, uh, it's hard to, you know, um, to even have the know-how. You know, especially you know, without without God, without knowing God, you know, without the wisdom of God. I know I go out here and I, I see a lot. Um, even, you know, in our young people, you know, our teenagers, you know, I have a 16-year-old son, and, you know, and he has friends and everything, and then, you know, his friends, they go to the high school, and uh, young men, I see, uh, even earlier today, uh, an older woman was outside, and I guess she was fussing at the young men walking by, I don't know what they were doing um, as I was just driving by, but I even saw the young man, you know, he was cursing the, the old woman out, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is horrible, you know, Things are not like how they were back in the day. You know, uh, uh, um, back in the, what, the 40s, the 50s, you know, even though that was before my before my time and everything, you know, but I do know that uh, um, those were the times where, you know, family, I do know that family was most important. I look at, you know, how my grandfather and grandmother were. You know, they were together to death did them part, literally, you know, and the family stayed together. Family was most important. You know, it was like grandmother was that glue, you know. And how can right. we get back to profit? How, you know, what? Well, how well, well here's, here's one of the suggestions I have, uh, especially if you're a single mother and you have a son. Uh, it's mm-hmm. important that you try to surround yourself around strong marriages, um, whether it be at church, maybe people that you know, or even in, within your own family. Uh, yeah. I believe that young men need to see a structure of a home, a solid yeah. structure of a home. And so I believe it starts there. We're yeah. all, you know, we're all products of our culture or what's around us. And so mm-hmm. if you're a single mother, um, the best thing that I would suggest for you to do is to surround yourself around uh, people that, 
you have hopes for your son to become one day. Uh, it's not yeah. hard to pick out a good man because <laughs> there's so many bad ones, right? <laughs> so it's imp- so I know it's easy to see a good one. So to to find that good relationship or a good man, uh, you know, with uh, that that is married and you know doing what they need to do. Uh, it, I, I would get aggressive in trying to somehow, some way, uh, position myself where my mm-hmm. sons can see what a good, you know, good marriage looks like until, you know, you get married yourself. Uh, here's another mm-hmm. thing. Uh, young men uh, without fathers, they, they're used to their mothers taking care of them. So, you know, what do you expect if they're not, you know, they're not around men like that around their mother? And I'm not making an excuse, but what I'm saying is, depend on a woman, is there because that's all they know. And so yeah. when they get when they are trying to get married, they're trying to learn how to be a man. And the woman's mm. frustrated because she's saying, "Wait a minute, you know, why are you depending on me so much?" You know, and so mm-hmm. it, it 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 is now like it's it's cyclical, like it's it's something that continues on. And so now here it is. Now you have a young lady who's trying to figure out what's wrong with my man. He's not a man. And so mm-hmm. now we get into hurting your feelings. And here's another thing mm-hmm. men don't talk about. We don't talk about when our feelings are hurt. You you won't mm-hmm. hear us say, you hurt my feelings. Now, we're going to deal mm-hmm. with that uh, in the privacy of our own, uh, you know, room or when we're driving or when we're at work. Uh, you know, we tend we tend to do things like get busy and, and, you know, we start thinking about what you said. So you would never know that you hurt our feelings. And, and the reason why is because our makeup is, is that of being strong. We want to put on the persona of being a strong person. And if we tell you that you hurt our feelings, now we're vulnerable to you. And the mm-hmm. last thing a man wants to do is he wants to, uh, you know, allow somebody to know his weakness. Men are not mm-hmm. going to share their weaknesses with, with anybody. They're going to share it with God. They won't share it with, with, with the, you know, and, 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 and very few will share it with other strong men, but that's only because there's a report of it. But if you look at, you know, uh, maybe seven out of ten men, they're not going to say anything. They're going to internalize that. But watch this. That turns into anger, and then it turns into resentment. Then it turns into bitterness. And so now we have a buildup. You don't even know you're on, you're on our bad side. And everything you're doing now, we're tallying up. And this is the reason why men cheat and they get divorced because they, they feel like you don't love me. But mm. they never took the time to express to you or give you a chance as a woman to make that right. But that's yeah. our makeup. And if, and if you don't understand as a woman that, hey, our feelings can be hurt, if you don't understand that those are probing questions that you have to do as a woman, you have to, you know, probe your man, you have to, you know, Say things to your man like, hey, you know, have I ever said anything that hurt your feelings or, you know, did I ever offend you or have I ever disrespected you? I want to know. See, women don't do – I'm not going to say all women, but there there are a lot of women that don't do that. And the reason why is because they're not used to men being in the home either. They're used to just yes. expressing like what they saw their mother doing. Uh, women yes. express. They say what's on their mind. They might not even mean it, but that's what they mean at the time. So it's not really yeah. in their heart, but it's just them expressing. And so here it is. Now we got a, a dynamic of a man trying to figure out why this woman don't love me. Because we, we take it to the love right away. We don't take it to you dislike me. We say that you don't love us. Because when I hit wow. feelings are hurt, it, it cuts us deeply. Ooh. It cuts us deeply. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I believe it cuts us deeply than a woman. You know, women can wow. be hurt too, but... I believe a man can be. I mean, we we get hurt to the core, and 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 uh, it it hurts us so bad that you know, like I said, we measure it according to love. It ain't it ain't about like. It's about no, you don't love. Me. And when a man wow. feels unloved, he's gonna go looking for it somewhere else. Yeah, that is true. And so, it's funny so, so, how. So, now I was just gonna say. So, so this is by. It is so important about that community that I was talking about uh, concerning mm-hmm. marriages um, because there are things that they're going to see, you know, with the single parent, and then there are things they're going to see with married married couples. But 
Young men will find their identity in another man. But you have to surround them with a man that you believe, you know, is on the right track, right path, positive. I'm not talking about, you know, anything. I'm talking about a man that you have, you know, that you can see that, you know, is doing okay for themselves. And, you know, they got God in their life. And, you know, they're not going to teach your son nothing crazy or anything like that. Um, Yeah. But that's why it's so important because if we see it, then it helps us to counteract the things that we face when we do, you know, get up on our own. And then also it opens us up to want to be able to maybe even talk to that man concerning the things that we're dealing with. Because I, I yeah. think right around 14, boys take a turn right away. Like 13, 14, oh, man, they, they, they're they searching for their identity. So now yeah. it's like their little mind is going. So now you can't hardly tell them nothing. They, you mm. know, they, they got it. You know, they second-guessing what you think. And, and it's hard. And mothers, if they, if you don't recognize that they're in a turn, you'll fight them. You know, you, yeah. you'll put them down. You, you'll put them out. Hello. I mean, you you'll put them in you'll put them in a place where you know it really sets them up for you know really for failure when it comes to relationships. Yeah. Because if a if a young man doesn't respect his mother, he definitely ain't gonna respect any other one. Right. Amen. Amen. And it's funny how um, in relationships how um, assumption can happen without even a conversation. You know, you'll go by that person's actions, uh, which actions, as we say, actions speak louder than words. But sometimes the person's action can be uh, misperceived. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of times when we don't communicate, men and women, you know, when we don't communicate, assumption happens, and then you've taken, you know, that person's heart, uh, um, you, you, you've misunderstood that person, or you've misunderstood that person, that person's heart, you know. Uh, the one thing I know um, that I believe that is very important is that once, once someone is at fault, the person that is at fault should be humble enough to want to reconcile, you know, to apologize. And a lot of times that's I good. know. Ooh, that's good. You know, it's, yeah, a lot of times, um, what, you know, and this is definitely um, not an attack or anything, but um, we keep it 100, okay? So a lot of times men don't like to apologize. No, there's women who don't like to apologize, too, Um but I know sometimes ego can get in the way, you know, uh, and a lot of times, you know, uh, a man's pride uh, can be hurt. And, and, you know, there's there's a such thing, of course, as uh, confidence, and then, you know, there's pride, and it, there's a difference. But the two can be very confusing, <laughs> you know. So, uh, so, 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 yeah, so, so, so let me pick you back off that. And you're so right. You definitely got it. Uh, we definitely have a high level of pride. Uh, and and what I mean by that, you know, man, a manly pride. And where that comes from is the fact that we understand that we're supposed to be leaders. And I think that men sometimes confuse leadership uh, with uh, the ability to basically know what they're doing. So, so meaning that a good leader will utilize his help, okay? So that means that it's okay for you not to know everything or not to – you don't know the answer to this or know what the next step is. But yet again, mm-hmm. that goes back to men don't like to be vulnerable. If I'm mm-hmm. vulnerable to you, that means that now you have a you have a up on me. And we right. are very we are very competitive. That's in our mm-hmm. nature. So mm-hmm. so 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 now if, if I give you the power as, as my wife or as a woman, relationships and this and other, whatever you call it, now I'm having mm-hmm. an issue because we're in a, we're in now, you know, you're winning. I'm losing. Men don't like to lose, baby. They do not like to lose. We hate losing. We like to win. We like to conquer. These are the things that are in us. Like, it, it, it affirms us as being men. So anything that will, will, will appear that we, you know, we're insignificant, less significant, here's another thing. Uh, and I hope I'm okay saying this, but let's talk about sex a little bit here. Uh, even with 
even with sex, uh, men are competitive. They they uh-huh. they want to know, they want to know, you know, different things uh, as far as you know your past, and, you know, things like that. And so it, you know, yet again, it 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 trickles into even even into that. The point that I'm making yeah. is, m- men like uh-huh. to win. They like to be significant. They like to be set apart. And mm-hmm. so if if they feel like that anybody is going to intimidate that, then uh-huh. they'll shut down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'll shut down. And not only will they shut down, but but they they will they will you know they will you know distance themselves from whoever it is that that's uh you know intimidating them in their position in their title. Wow. Could that yeah, play yeah. with? Insecurity could that be, insecure? You know, for um, for one to feel. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, it, it it could be insecurity on, on, but insecurity only comes from when you're being put down. Okay. Uh, well, I'm talking about as far as from a man's perspective, we insecure okay. when when we're being pushed down. Okay. Yeah, when mm-hmm. we're being pushed down, and you know, we don't say that it hurts the other. It's affecting us, so we're insecure. You just don't okay. know it. So so when you touch on it, then, yeah, we're insecure. So Greg, Gregory Yancey asked, he said, how can we as men be more vulnerable but not appear weak? That's a good question. Man, that's a great question. So to appear more vulnerable, first of all, men, we have to learn how to express ourselves. When we come home, we don't talk about our day. Women do, but we don't. So right. the woman will explain to you their day, give you all the details and all that. You just be yesing her through that so she can be quiet. But at the end mm-hmm. of the day, when it comes to you, you never allow yourself to free yourself of your day. So I mm-hmm. would say initially we have to start expressing and talking about, you know, just stuff like, you know, what happened to us today. Because the level it's the level of comfortability and the level of trust mm-hmm. that is built that will put you in a place to trust that person. Because vulnerability has to do with trust. If I trust you, I don't mind being vulnerable to you. But I have to trust you first. So so, so we have to deal with trust first. So trust will come through just simple expressions about just uh, just about your day. Yeah. I would say start that. You know, practically, just start that. Yeah. And then uh, I want to add, too, that was wonderful. Uh, I want to add to that, uh, too, um, just because, again, I'm not a man. I know this. <laughs> uh, but I do know that uh, our human nature, um, we all can tend to um, be afraid to be vulnerable uh, with with another person, uh, a spouse. Um, and I'm always, I'm all, I'm always all about the love, you know, love language, the love, you know, the law of love and everything. Um, I think that it is, uh, vital. I think it's critically vital to, uh, be with someone that you know you can trust your heart with. Somebody that you know will not take, uh, 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 your, uh, you being vulnerable and use it against you. Uh, right. That um, it has to be mutual. That you know, when a man is is he's he's trust if he's trusted a woman enough uh, to be vulnerable uh, in front of her, she should you know open up herself and trust uh, her man enough to be vulnerable to him. You know, and I think that too uh, can build trust and. When there's an argument, which is normal, in a relationship, in a marriage, arguing is normal. But screaming and yelling and all, that's not. Or name-calling is not. When you are in a debate or arguing or something like that, you make sure you are mature enough not to use that person's vulnerable uh, uh, place that they shared with you against them. And then that, you know, because... Uh-huh. Go ahead, no, that's good. I'm sorry. I got excited because that is so good. <laughs> Keep going. I'm listening to you. I'm listening okay. to you. That's good. Praise uh, God. Uh, it, 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 let, let me say this. 
let me say this. Okay. Um, and I, I'm sorry, I didn't want to cut y'all. I just, I just got excited from what you just said because that that's another uh-huh. thing when it comes to a man. Um, our patience is not as much as a woman. Um, so meaning this, um, something like this scenario you just said. If yeah. if you're bringing up some things that I share with you that you know are close to me or made me feel a certain type of way, well, uh-huh. I'll tell you right now that will never do it again. Uh-huh. He will never do it again. He will shut that down. That would never happen again. And now yeah. he has a wall up when yeah. it comes to you because now what he's saying to you is you're not really for me. Yet again, I told you, men, we skip the life thing. We go to love. That's it. We it, it, it ain't about it ain't about you don't like me. No, it's about you don't love me. Uh huh. And so we 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 go right to the love thing. And and if it if it's something that we feel like has you know really you know touched the nerve or you know touched our feelings, touched our heart, broke our heart. You know, men yeah. have a hard time communicating that their heart is broken. They do. Yeah. They, they, they will go to the grave with that. They will go to the grave with their heart being broken. They'll continue to function. They'll, you know, go to work. They'll take care of the kids. You know, they'll do all the things. They'll do everything. You'll be thinking everything is normal. But in the back of their mind and deep in their heart, they have unforgiveness that they're holding on to. Wow. That you that you will never, ever know anything about. Hmm. Yeah, and that's what makes it so bad. And the only time it comes out is, like you said, when you're, you know, arguing angst. No, he gets angry enough, he's going to definitely tell you. He's going to tell you right then and there. He's going to tell you why he he's acting the way that he is, why you deserve this. and You know, it, mm-hmm. that goes back to that apology thing. Why should I apologize to you? You hurt me and didn't apologize to me. Why? Why? So, they, they, so, so that, that, that's that thing of, uh, like I said, with men knowing their makeup. That's why a probing woman is a wise woman, a woman that yeah. probes a man. I'm not talking about you know, a thousand questions like, you know, what you what you do today in a sense of, you know, who is you with and, you know, not in a sense of like he's cheating, but in a way right. of really expressing concern about, you know, what, you know, what he did today or, you know, what's going on with him. A man yeah. will, will definitely respond to that. He will. Now, he may not give you like, you know, a long sentence, but he'll, he'll, he'll at least tell you what's going on. And after a while, that that begins to break that mold and makes him makes him comfortable now. He may just come start telling you without you ask, since he knows that's what yeah. you do. Yeah. But that's that's the key right there. A probing woman is a wise one. A, a woman God. that a woman that will that will take the time to say, Hey, you know, I'm taking care of the kids, I got the house together, let me sit my king down, let's find out King, what's going on? How you doing today? You know, if we live everything over, I'm talking about sweet and kind. You know, sweet and kind. You smell good. You know, all of that. It's it's it yeah. it's, it will put a man in a place to want to to release. You know how he feels. Yeah. And so Greg asked, he said, "Is that why it makes it easier to talk to the side piece? Because she's willing <laughs> to let you know what really matters to him." Well, I'm going to be honest with you. He's right. Like I told you before, if a man feels like he can't get it from his wife, I'm telling yeah. you, he's going to find her somewhere else. I'm not saying yeah. every man, but I'm saying some men are going to do that. Uh, yeah. Or they're going to fight doing that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the devil is not in marriage. He wants to divide the home, okay? Yeah. So he's going to use any means necessary. That's why I said a wise woman is a woman that probes. Probes yeah. a man. Asks her man about, you know, the deep things about him. Concern yeah. for him. A man can feel when a woman's concerned about him. She, mm-hmm. she You know, he can feel that. So, mm-hmm. so if a man feels secure, like, okay, you got my back. You know, I trust you. I can tell you're concerned for me. He's less likely mm-hmm. to cheat on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if, mm-hmm. if if you don't if you don't if you don't allow yourself to really hear or uh, understand the man that you're with, you can mm-hmm. argue, you can name call, like you said, you can, you know, 
make fun of things and not understand, you're pushing that man away. That man is mm-hmm. separating himself from you every day. It's getting worse and worse. And so mm-hmm. you need to watch when a man is very quiet, okay? If he's very mm-hmm. quiet, that means he's hiding something. I'm mm-hmm. telling it. I'm, tell- I'm telling on us now. <laughs> if we're quiet, that means there's something going on. You need to find out what's up. Wow. So. So, so yeah, oh yeah, men, listen to me, men. If me, if you allow your man to come home and he never talks to you daily, okay, <laughs> I'll be, I have my phone on because you're gonna be calling because y'all gonna need some kind because something happened. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's important. I'm, 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 I, I mean, I, I will tell us, I'm gonna tell the gospel truth. If a man is quiet, don't say nothing to you. You need to be concerned. Something is going on. Something is going on. You know, there's there's a certain level of affection that a man needs, and I'm not talking about sex, just sex. I'm talking about even in conversation, communication, affection. Men need that. Do you do realize if you allow your man just to be quiet, that means that the affection area must be very low. Uh-huh. So, so because that means there's a lot of separation. So that means you're allowing him to be off by himself. Well, what yeah. happens when a man is off by himself? An idle mind is the devil's workshop, especially if he yeah. just by himself and just got his cell phone and, you know, you got your life over here and he got his life over there and on the bedroom. Well, something, mm. something is missing. Something is missing. That's not relationship. So that means that right. there's, some, there's some disconnection there. There's some disconnection there. You, you want to, you, women, you want to see your men react to you. Like when I come home, mm-hmm. I'm looking for my wife. I'm looking uh-huh. for her. Where, where are you at, baby? It's hide and go seek, okay? And I love it. I'm looking for you. Where are you? Why? Mm-hmm. Because all day I've been thinking about coming home because I want to see mm-hmm. you. Yeah. See, that's what I mean by the response. A, a man's going to come. He's going to be looking for you. Where are you at? You know, and I'm not saying that, you know, he's going to do it every day. That's just me, but I'm just saying that that he, there should be some type of response to you. You're not just right. going into another room and, you know, going to sleep or on the phone. Hello. No, there should be, there should be some type of dialogue, some type of expression of how happy he is to see you. Oh, I didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> it's on, uh, live on Facebook with us as well. She said that she would like to say... That a side piece is just that on the side. She is not in it for the uh, uh, long term. She can she can put up with that man for a couple of hours and nothing more. What do you have to say about that? Okay, and, and I'm gonna tell her. I'm giving her a high five. She is so right. Okay, but let me tell you what that side piece that that the wife don't get. She got right. your man's attention. She got yeah. your man's attention, and that's the problem. You know, you- yeah, she, you have she, to be. She you know, yeah, yeah, she shouldn't have your man's attention. You should right. have Right. And you you know you have to be careful of women who are willing to deal with you on an uh, intimate level like that knowing that Ooh. you have Well, Greg is live with us on uh Facebook. Hello Greg. Hey, sis, how you doing? We also have Q Ellerby on with us. Q, Q. what's up, Q? Q, are you there? No, no I'm here. What's good? Let me say my piece. I, I, I thank the prophet for coming on tonight. And yes. Revealing some truths. Such that a blessing. Really Break codes, prophet. Break the codes. And, you know, and, and, you know, sometimes it's important that you break code because that's your survival mechanism that's being broken. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, the, the man code was established by men. Right, and not by God. To be able to, to access. But guess what? God designed women as our helper, as our help me. And without that help, then, bro, you are on an island all by yourself. Right. Right, right. Prophet, we are. This is exciting. Hang on one second. We are at it, the time is seven thirty-four, so we are going to uh, end the um, 
radio, uh, the live radio, but we are still live on uh, Facebook. And so, Prophet, um, for our listeners on the radio, uh, can you give closing remarks? And then we're going to continue this uh, on uh, Facebook, live on Facebook. Is that all right? Yes, ma'am. So, so my closing remarks would be this. Uh, I want every woman, every man to realize that they have responsibility uh, in their roles and who they are. The, the very thing that we ignore is the very thing that will take us over. It's important for us to learn who we are trying to pursue or be with. Don't yeah. ignore the fact that the person that you're with, you have to learn who they are. And that means that sometimes it's going to take sacrifice, sometimes it's going to take you swallowing your pride, but it, at the end of the day, the common goal is for it to be successful. And that's what we need. We need people who are thinking successfully, meaning that it doesn't matter if I have to take the low road, I want this to work. You mentioned the 40s and 50s. You are so right. That That is the foundation of what marriage should be. Now, don't get me wrong. Everything wasn't, you know, cool, but Still, they had they had it they had the concepts together that yeah. the death do us part and and they knew that whatever it took, you know, to make this thing successful, somebody was sacrificing to do that. You're not yeah. going to get away from that. So yeah, that's what I would tell everybody when it comes to that. Yeah. Men, I want to tell you that it's okay to break the code. <laughs> it's okay. Let that woman on in, so she can help you be successful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the right woman would use it against you. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, thank you all. Once again, this is Let's Talk. I am your host, Chanel. Um, and we will see you faithfully next Tuesday right here on Election Radio. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone have a wonderful evening. Mm-hmm. Prophet, we will on Facebook. Church.